the power. This back. What is up, family? Professor T here, representing Powered by Vibes at thepowerisback.com. And we're here to react to some more undiscovered musicians. It's a project to bring some much-deserved attention and spread some more appreciation to some of these underappreciated artists making some great music out there. So today, we're checking out a song by Kate Castro. It's called Rainbow in Your Cloud. And this song was inspired by Maya Angelou in Social Injustice in Our World. And Kate and her brother Kevin Hansen wrote the song together. I like that collaboration. Yeah. And she is a singer and a songwriter. And um, evidently she's for the United States because uh, the video is in America. So without any further ado... Let's check out what Kate is talking about. And we're going to go to the song, listen to it. We'll talk about it. I promise I will make this shorter so it says it 15 minutes long like the last two. So yeah, this is why she in LA. Shout out to the West Coast. I'm from the East Coast. I'm from New York. But shout out to LA. Shout out to everybody in California. Hope everybody in LA is doing great. You inspire, I admire all of your strength. I like this song. Give me weight off your shoulders so you can feel light as a feather. That's a powerful lyricism right there. That's like the tell us to inspire my name, Maya Angelou. Shout out to Maya Angelou too, by the way. Bless her peace. I think my about that. <laughs> let me Google that. I think let me make sure I'm not wrong about that. Yeah, I'm right. Rest in peace, my Andrew. I was like, let's make sure. I was like, I'm pretty sure I remember that. That was a news story that she had passed. Away. I wanted to make sure I wasn't. <laughs> peace, my Andrew. If you don't know who she is, look it up. Do I need to travel to LA to do me a, a, a long play the jam episode? That's a very long road trip. I would have to fly. My colors run so bold. You have to make that happen. You have to go to the road. Check out the music scene there. I wanna be a rainbow. But this song right here, the way that the instrumental just kind of opened up, that was beautiful right there. To help you find your goal. This will be high in the billboard chart. I think this one is probably gonna end up on the uh, recommended list as well. I'm into this type of music right here, like, it makes me want to cry. Of course, I'm into any music where like, I can watch pretty women singing about stuff. I like it. Am I allowed to say that nowadays? Too bad, I already said it, so I can't take it back. I'm 
This is super good though for me of like Kate, if you come and check in on this video, can we do a collab, please? Listen to um, my upcoming album, Parade. Possibly it might already be out. It's supposed to be coming so in August at some point. I don't know the exact date. Me. But I guess got a lot of lyricism and like styles like this. I'm a guy that like Here's I wear tie dye and stuff with flowers on it. I like hippie stuff. Yeah. I can like this part of the song too. Uh, I'm just this part is really cool. I thought how it kind of changed a little bit with the different sounds. Renewed energy from green fields, so clean. Too. That's usually how you know a song is good. If I'm not talking over the whole song, you know it's good because I'm because I'm just getting into it again. All right, everybody. Any credits? All right. Well, that's it. That's enough for that. So shout out to Kate Castro. I love this girl. You crushed it. You did a great job. First reactions of the song. At first, when I saw this, I didn't know what to expect. Um, but I, I knew it was probably going to be really, really good. It's got a lot of views. Um, but she doesn't have a lot of subscribers yet. So make sure you guys are checking this out and you um, don't know who Kate Castro is or you just found out who she is through this video. Go over there, subscribe, leave a comment, like the video, and tell, her, and tell everybody that the Presser T sent you. Go find my comment on her video and like that too. So the positives of this video that I like, so what I think that we um, can learn from that she did really well. If you listen to the vocal performance, that was like ideal vocal performance. Everything that I talk about, if you check out the songwriting workshop series we got over here with me and um, producer and engineer from Sony, Anthony Casuccio, we actually tell uh, you guys do a lot of things that was done here. And a lot of things that I've decided to do as well, where kind of the lyricism and not it took a backseat to the music, and that's what's so important. When you're a vocalist, I've said it before for other uh, ones of these reactions. It's possible to be a great singer, give you the most beautiful voice in the world, but have be a terrible vocal performer because when you're singing, you're you're not interesting to listen to. Kate here, she did an amazing job because. What she did, she did just that. She made her voice part of the song. So what, what you heard happening was, what she was singing, it went with what was happening in the instrumental. And that's what's so important. And she also had a very pleasing tone of voice the whole time that she was singing it. Like, it was very soothing and relaxing. Like, it, like the song, it wouldn't have worked if you're... You know what I'm saying? <laughs> If you had something like that, it wouldn't have worked. But what she did worked with the song, and it was just very well done. And, you know, the lyricism definitely is powerful. Definitely, um, once again, shout out to Maya Angelou. The instrumental positives I had to say on that were kind of how when she went into the hook of the song, it kind of explodes out, and it adds more sounds and more instruments. Then there was a point in the song where it kind of dropped everything out, and you thought, is the song ending? But then she came back in. And it was a little bit different. Critique section of the video. It was hard to find any critiques for this one, really. And um, this is a good one to do that on. Because as I always say about the critique section, the critiques are never personal or directed at the artist. It's for all of us to learn from and using our own music. The only real critiques that I had with it, I felt like because it is so soft and soothing, and this is kind of like a song writing and song structure thing that's that's the critique that i would give we kind of do these songs like this this was near like perfect execution but the only thing i would say to drive home the point for uh, those of us to try to do something like this on our own you can sometimes 
have some points where it gets aggressive at one point and another in the song. Just so that somewhere in there it's not flat because you know sometimes you can make a song soothing but you don't want it to be boring. So that's what my only critique is and you certainly this song was certainly not boring. It was very very good but if I were to give a critique that takes it to the next level that's the only thing I would say to with all that compliments and praise being given, let's take it to the Professor T Billboard chart. Let's see where it is. I would rank this one. This one, if it's not already on the list on the powersback.com, it's going to be on the monthly recommended listening. I know a lot of people that's going to like this. Finally, we have something to get up here. So, it's going to unseek my boy Motika. It's going to unseek Hendrix Stressed Out. It's gonna unseat this. It's gonna unseat this. It's gonna unseat this. And you know what? I'm gonna put this at number two. Still didn't unseat number one yet, but it was so close. So close. Oh my gosh. Like, it, it just, it just, if we get the song, it just, I'm waiting for that moment to happen because they're, that's a ringer right there. Like, geek, that's a, like, um, Dance music group that's been doing stuff for years, and Taylor Jones is like an actual signed artist. So that's Ringers right there that I just put in there for fun. So we're waiting to see if we can unseat those guys. But right now, Kate Castro, Rainbow Your Cloud is number two at the Professor T Billboard chart. And as I say all the time about the Professor T Billboard chart, this chart is not a reflection on the quality of the song. This is a chart, it's a playlist that's put in the order of recommendations to the way that I think that. I would recommend it to people how other people would like it. So, with that being said, great job. I'm going to give a hand to Miss Castro here. Because I love this music and I really do hope that you check in. And I'm also very interested in what you do. I think I'm going to try to reach out to you. Let's see if we can um, do an artist spotlight on you on our site. Because I think that um, what you do is very interesting. And like I said, maybe we can do a collab please so we'll wrap this one up here because I got long-winded again I was trying to make this one short like all the other ones were <laughs> but to Kate Castro to all of you watching at home love what you do I enjoyed listening to this song I hope all of you did too and I spread nothing but peace and love to all of you and I will see you on the next review The power is back.